Hi friends, very welcome to my Vanitar. I'm the host Hassan Moshiri. In this video, I will show you how you can use one of these Siglent STS 2000 X Plus series oscilloscopes to measure the AC current. Measuring the AC current is not as simple as measuring the DC current because in the DC current measurement, you can simply hook this oscilloscope probe to the shunt resistor and measure the voltage difference and the current. However, it's not uh, the case with the AC current. Otherwise, uh, the oscilloscope probe or the oscilloscope itself will blow up. So you have to provide something like a, a, a galvanic isolation between your device and the mains. There are, of course, there are tools to measure the current or the, even the voltage, something like a differential probe or the current probe. However, still you can make this galvanic isolation and measure the current. So I will use this current transformer. It's a cheap component. I just found it in my component storage and I have soldered this 47 ohm resistor to the pins. It doesn't have any specification. I cannot find any number or something like that on, the, on it. So I will use this Siglent SDM3D45X multimeter as a reference and to uh, calculate the formula. And then I will insert the formula into the oscilloscope to show the current waveform and measure the current directly. Isn't cool? So let's get started. Okay, I prepared the circuit. Also, I put this box on the light, light bulb because the intense light will distract the camera. So I'm ready to measure the current of the smaller light bulb. Before I continue, I warn you that you are dealing directly with the mains. So if you are a beginner, ask some experienced user to help you. So let me measure the AC current. Uh, so it says let's say 260 milliamps for the smaller light bulb okay 260 milliamps okay now we are ready to measure the current of the bigger light bulb Uh, so let's say 844, okay, 844 uh, milliamps or 0.844 because it, uh, it fluctuates over the third number, okay. Okay, I've done the job with the multimeter and measured the current. To confirm again 260 milliamp for the small light bulb and 844 for the bigger one. So what I'm gonna do next is to use this number to calculate the equation uh, in the oscilloscope. Then I will measure the current of the bigger light bulb in the oscilloscope and compare the results. Then if it was equal, so we will know that the device works and the calculations are right and this behavior is linear then we can count on this then we will know that we can count on this so this is the circuit so the current transformer is just on the wire then i will connect the oscilloscope probe to this to here okay to the output if it yes i will connect connect the oscilloscope probe on the pins so I will move the camera forward and I will just capture the oscilloscope screen, okay? So let's go to the next step. All right, welcome to the test bench. The first thing I did was connecting a USB mouse to the oscilloscope. So I can just easily access to the menus 
or objects. So let me connect the power to the small light bulb. And there we go. This waveform shows that the RMS value of this waveform is around 12 millivolts, okay? So this is the output waveform of the current transformer uh, for the small light bulb. So if I divide uh, 260, if you remember from the multimeter, the current consumption of the light bulb, the small, small light bulb was 260. So I divide it by 12 and the result is 21.66. So let me disconnect the power. And now I want to insert the formula. So the only thing I should do is to uh, multiply this number to the waveform. So I press here and find one, then come here and the formula editor. So I have access to the channel one, then multiply the channel one by 21.66 and another 66. Uh, that's a better result and press OK. So I should uh, replace the light bulb with the bigger one and see what we can read on the oscilloscope. So let me replace this. And put this and connect the power. Okay. So let me adjust the volt division. So this goes to, okay, do you see that? If I decrease this and go to the up and this one, go, oh, sorry, and this one, sh uh, this one should come down. There we go. This is the result. However, let me change this RMS to the result of F1. So I should go here and I, I just click on this and, and let me go here and press F1. So the result is around 820. I see some fluctuation. This is actually a, a light bulb. Let's say 824. So our measurement was 844. So this 20 or so milliamp difference is just because of the load. The load is not something stable. The light bulb is not a stable load to count. So this uh, difference is pretty, uh, it's obvious and predictable. Also, there are some non-linearity in the uh, current transformer. But however, the main reason is the light bulb itself. I had not any uh, I had not access to any better AC load. So anyway, that's the result. Uh, as, and you can see the, the, the system or the equation is linear. So you can use this method to measure the AC current. Anyway, I hope you like this video. Don't forget to share and subscribe. Also, give me a big thumbs up. Catch you next time.